Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing fantastic out there. I hope everybody's being safe. Um, so today what we're going to do is I'm going to attempt to upgrade my horn on my 2008 Honda Civic. Um, I kind of watched a lot of videos on this and some people say that it's worth it. Some people say it is not worth it. Well, we'll be the judge of that today. We'll go ahead and install this and let me just open this up. I haven't opened it up. I received it. Um, um, from USPS um, and I bought it uh, from this company online I don't remember exactly I think it was I think I got this from from the Honda parts um, here's uh, the part number if you guys want to do it yourself as well um, that's the part number this is genuine Honda parts um, and basically what, what I read up on and what what everyone was saying is that if you take i believe this part number is from like a honda accord um so we're gonna go ahead and install that today and we're gonna go ahead and see if it makes a difference so i'll do i'll do a before and after so here's the horn i know there's a lot of um information on it online saying that to be careful on how to install it so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install it properly um this one is also the low horn so we'll see what happens we're going to go ahead and get started and um and this is the pin it's it's basically going to be the same exact pin as the honda accord i forgot what year i got it from but i can't remember the year but Anyhow, here's the part number, so if you want to do the same thing, you can. Here's the part number, you can just order it straight from the dealership. I, I think I ordered it from hondaparts.com or something like that, I can't remember. I've had it for a while, but, um, and now I decided to go ahead and, and do it. It's I'm here in Florida and it's been raining and there's um, tropical storms happening all the time, And but the, every time in the afternoon, um, it always rains, so it's very difficult because I don't have a garage. So I have to, for this particular um, installation, you have to remove the bumper. And every time I try to do it, it rains. So for the most part, let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's go. All right, and we're back. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and explain what are the type of things that you have to do to remove. What do we have to do to remove? Um, and what do we have to remove basically to get the bumper off? Because remember I said that you have to remove the bumper. And yes, finally, it is not raining. I have blue skies, but uh, Florida is definitely a little bipolar, so I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible. So, first things first, you're gonna have to remove this clip right here. Uh, you're gonna have to get some type of, uh, this is a little pry tool, but you can use a, a clip remover tool. Um, and then you have to remove this one right here. Then you also have to remove this one right here. Um, you're going to have to remove the one over here as well. Uh, don't mind these screws. Um, I kind of had to put screws into this car. At one point, you know, somebody hit the car um, and damaged my um, my um, radiator support. So I had to put in screws. So you can laugh in the comments, it's cool, whatever, I don't care. But it's funny, I had to, you know, get this on here one way or another. So once you release that, you're gonna be able to remove this plastic right here. Once you remove that plastic, um, there's gonna be screws underneath and I'm gonna show you uh, Real quick here first. I want to show you you're also gonna have to remove um, I don't know if you guys can see that Hold on. All right, you see that right there There we go. All right, so you're going to have to remove I already pulled it out a little bit that way you guys can see it underneath the bumper you have two of these one on this side on the right and one on the left okay so you're gonna have to remove those they're right underneath okay so like if you look at the car like this they're right underneath you just won't be able to see it with the you know with your eyes but you have to remove both of those um, and then you have to go on the bottom and then on the bottom there are a lot more other screws let's go ahead and check all right so well not screws plastic it's a lot of plastic to be involved here so you basically have to remove all these um, clips you see that one right there you have that one over there you have 
to remove this one, this one, this, well, sorry, uh, that one. You have to remove all the clips that you find on the bottom right here, okay? So you're just gonna have to remove all these clips all the way across, all these clips all the way across, all the way across, just remove them all. Um, once you remove all those clips, um, don't forget about that one. Um, then basically the bumper is gonna come off once we remove the additional um, bolts um, that we have to remove from the front which I'll show you that in a second, so I'll be right back. clips are out on the bottom which they're a pain in the ass I'll tell you right now so you've never removed your bumper well I haven't removed my bumper in a long time um, but anyway so then once you get that out of the way then you're gonna have to remove these bolts right here so you have this one you have to remove this arm because this one attaches to the bumper so you got to remove that one um, and then you're going to do the same thing for this one now if you've never removed your bumper you're not gonna have a bolt here i basically there's some like hex or i don't know what it's called some weird diamond or or star looking thing that i forgot what the um what the bolt the name of the bolt is but you're gonna have to get a tool to remove that I just replaced them with these bolts because I've had replaced this bumper before, like I removed it before to actually install my um, headlights, which as you can see, my headlights are all, they're all shitty now. Um, but I got some new ones, some, some new ones coming up. Um, and actually I'm getting the guy to clear coat the new ones. That way this doesn't happen because from the factory, crap like this happens if you buy off the market, you know? So, all right, let's get that done. Let's do a before and after sound real quick. All right, and let's see the after. Let's see here, but before I do that, um, so once you remove all those clips, as you guys can see, all these, it's a shitload of clips, a whole bunch of freaking clips. So basically, to get a, be a better picture, you basically, when you're underneath, you have to remove um, this clip, that clip, this clip, this clip, this clip, this clip, this clip, that one, and so on, and those other two, okay? so. Now, all we have to do is, what we're going to do is we're going to remove this electrical plug right here. We're going to remove this bolt to 12. Uh, this comes out. And we're going to install the, new, the next one, the new one. All right, here we go. All right, so here it is. It's removed. Um, as you can see, here's the electrical plug right there. Okay, and... Um, basically 
all you have to do is basically put it back in here. Just remember, you know, this has a slit like right here, right, right, right there. It has a little slit where the water runs down. So you don't want to put this backwards. You want to make sure that this is actually facing down. And that's what a lot of people were saying, you know, that they were going bad or whatever and things were happening that this is, you know, the, the actual horn was frying on them. I read up and I seen some videos, but as long as you have that right there facing down. So I'm going to install it like this to see how that works. And it's just a quick uh, plug and play. See, it snaps right on. Um, I believe this came from the Accord. I can't remember exactly, but I think it was a 2008 Accord or something like that. Um, but I earlier on I showed you what the part number looks like. So if you want to do this mod, um, you guys can do it. So let me um, install this and then we're going to uh, do a quick sound test. Real quick, just to make sure everything's functioning properly. Before we put and, tight, and tighten down the bolt. Alright, sound test number two. So apparently you have to install it and you have to make sure that it's um, tight before you test it. So let's hear it out. So as you can hear, no more, no more meat meat. No more clown clown car sounding horn meet meet now it's bop bop more like the the accord okay that's cool all right so that was easy all right and then you basically install everything in reverse um yeah so if you guys want to do that for yourselves go ahead it's an easy mod just have to remove all these damn clips um and i'll show you a little bit here on the show you on the bumper um that way you can see better so you see all these clips here so you're gonna have to remove that 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 one those two that one right that one and that one and that one so you have all those clips once they're removed you can remove the bumper yeah this bumper is extremely dirty guys haven't washed the car in a while and yes <laughs> the paint there i kind of painted my own lip um didn't do such a good job i mean i think i did a good job here but i think it was not smart not to remove that additional little lip there because i didn't i kind of so that's why you see that the paint came off there everywhere else it looks like you know for the most part looks pretty good um but cool all right so uh you install it in reverse just remember where everything goes and you're good to go thanks again for watching you guys have a fabulous afternoon or evening or morning wherever you are talk to you guys later now it is my time to shine Let's when your time comes don't postpone it when others doubt and out you don't condone it truth be told yourself is your toughest opponent when your moment comes grab hold and own it never let go since